Jesus' name we have prayed. A louder, louder, amen. If you have been blessed tonight, say a louder, amen. Have you been blessed? Your blessings, the Lord will perfect in Jesus' name. It's a wonderful thing to praise the Lord. It's a beautiful thing to praise the Lord, a glorious thing to praise the Lord, and we shall praise the Lord. I said we shall praise the Lord. Um, after now, we're going to go back to the singing, to worship the name of the Lord, because that's the reason we came tonight. And even after this place, we'll continue to praise the name of the Lord. Will you praise the Lord? From this night, the Lord will give you reasons to rejoice. I said from this night, the Lord will give you reasons to rejoice. Let's have a word of prayer together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll bless your name because you inhabit the praise of your people. And Lord, we pray as we exalt ourselves from your word. We we'll pray, Lord, you will inhabit our praise tonight. And you will spoil in us a heart to praise you in Jesus' name. Bless our lives as we look at the pages of the scripture briefly tonight. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We're talking about the triumphant praise. The triumphant praise. And in Revelation chapter 15, here you see the testimony. The rejoicing, the praising, the praises of those who have overcome, those who conquered, those who prevailed. In Revelation chapter 15, I want to read to you in verse 3. If you have the Bible there, you open it with me. If you don't have, just open, I mean, just listen. I'll read to you in verse 3. It says, and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God. And the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways. And then he says, Thou King of Sin. Who are these people here that sang the song of Moses? These are the tribulation saints. Those who refused, they went through difficult times. They face the trials and the tribulation posed to them by the Antichrist. And they weathered the storm. They overcame eventually. And then they came together and they rendered song of praise to the Lord. The children of Israel, you knew, in Exodus, when the Lord granted them deliverance, as they crossed the Red Sea, they looked behind and all they saw was the horse of Egypt buried in the sea. And they saw their enemies. The people who pursued them hard. The people who said, we will not let them go. They thought they had overcame. They thought they had conquered. But then, all of a sudden, they saw their enemies right behind them. And they were coming furiously with Pharaoh, their leader, leading the horse. And they cried. In fact, they turned to Moses. They said, Moses, was this your plan? You brought us here to waste our lives here? Couldn't you have left us in that place where we're complaining? You should have left us there. And the Lord told Moses, Moses turned to the Lord and the Lord said, Moses, you don't need to cry. What is that in your hand? And it's the rod. And then he did the miracle. The Lord parted the Red Sea before them. They went on dry ground and lo and behold, every one of them, old and young, they all escaped. And then they began to sing songs of praises to the Lord. When you think of the goodness of the Lord, when you think of the wonders of the Lord, when you think of the miracle that the Lord has performed, you praise His name. You exalt Him. You glorify Him. You give Him honor and praise. And that is what we came here to do. We came here to praise the Lord. From the beginning of the year up unto this time, we looked at ourselves. We looked among us and around us. And we, all we could say is, thank you, Lord. We thought about it. We said, what can we offer to our God? From the beginning of the year up until this time, the Lord has been faithful unto us. 
What then can we offer unto God? Nothing but our praises. And that's why we said tonight, we're coming together to praise the Lord because we see ourselves as a triumphant one. Have you overcome? Are you triumphant? Your victory will be permanent in Jesus' name. And as triumphant people, what do we do? We praise the Lord. You know why? He is the Almighty. And he is our ambassador. We call him the ambassador. I mean, the, 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 the ambassador of all. He's our ambassador. He's the one that is leading us. And he's the almighty. The almighty God who is our captain, who is be, you know, before all. We call him our backbone. He is our backbone. And that's why we're praising. Because when we think about all the trials and all the tribulations we have to go through in life, we see that the Lord actually has been our strength and he has been our stay and he has been the one who has not allowed the enemy to swallow us up with all the rivers he threw ahead of us. So we say the Lord is our backbone and because of that we'll press him. He is our captain. He is the one who is championing our cause and because of that we'll press him. He is the defense of the defenseless. When you think about yourself, and you look around to all, I mean, about all the challenges you're going through. And then you think of the Lord. He is your defense. And because of that, we'll praise him. He is the emperor of the elect. You think about those of us who are elect of the Lord. Those of us who are say, the Lord is our king. The Lord is our Lord. The Lord is our captain. You think about God. We'll praise him because he is the emperor of the elect. He is the foreigner in the fight of faith. That's our God. That's Jesus. The captain of our whole. You think about Joshua. Joshua was going to fight a great battle. And the Lord came to assure him. He saw in the dream. The Lord appeared unto him. And the Lord said, The Lord of hosts is with you. I'm right here with you. You have no reason to be afraid. How many times have you, you know, been afraid? How many times have you thought about it? How will I do it? How will this happen? And the Lord will just come true to you. And then he will say, Here I am with you to stand with you. Victory is going to be yours and eventually you come out to become victorious. He is the forerunner in the fight of it. He is the governor of the great. He is the head of the heroes. He is the image of the invisible God. He is the judge of the jury. He is the king of all kings. The king of all kingdoms. He is the leader of the legislators. The one who will teach us to teach the senators wisdom. You know that was what he did for Joseph? He blessed Joseph. He gave him wisdom. He gave him knowledge. He gave him understanding. And he appointed Joseph to teach the senators in Egypt war to teach them wisdom. That is our God. He is the leader of the legislature. He is the master of the mighty. The master of the mighty. He is the mother to the motherless. Maybe you are here. The psalmist said, when my father and my mother forsake me, what is the Lord going to do? The Lord will abandon me. Is that what your own Bible says? No, it says the Lord will do what? He will pick me up. He is the mother to the motherless. Just as he is the father to the fatherless, he is the mother to the motherless. He is the name above all name. He says he has given unto us a name that is above every other name. That the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee should do what? In your life, every knee will bow. Whatever the challenge, whatever the tribulation, as you mention the name of Jesus in your worship, those knees will bow in Jesus' name. He is the overseer of the overcomer. He is the powerful prince above all principalities and power. He is the qualifier of the qualified and the unqualified. Maybe you are here tonight and you think about yourself. You say, well, I'm not even qualified. How can I even come before the Lord? You have no reason to be afraid. You have nothing to worry about. We have the Lord and we came here to praise the Lord. The one who is a qualifier of the qualified and the unqualified. If you think of, of yourself as being unqualified tonight, the Lord will qualify you. I said the Lord will qualify you. And he will bring you into his courts to praise him in Jesus' name. He is the qualifier of the qualified and the unqualified. He is the ruler over the regent. He is the sovereign over the supreme. And the supreme over the sovereign. All those sovereign nations is the supreme over them. And is the sovereign one over all the earth. Is a timeless truth above all nations. I mean, above, you know, of all time. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the word, and the life. There is no other truth that can stand the test of time as the truth that Jesus himself came. 
to represent the truth of the gospel. It's a timeless truth above all time. The timeless truth of all time. And then is the umpire of the universe. Do you know he's the one that holds the earth in his hand? He, you know, he, he sits upon the circle of the earth. And then he says about you, he has engraved you in the hollow of the palm of his hand. Give a you know, clap offering to the Lord. Our God is great. Our God is wonderful. He's the umpire of the universe. And, you know, sometimes you wonder, amen. You know, sometimes you wonder, you see, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Is the Lord not there? Of course, the Lord is there. He's watching everything. He's overseeing everything. He's the umpire. And he's regulating everything. You know what the devil wanted to do before? The devil ordinarily would have, you know, wiped off everyone, destroyed the whole earth, and dumped all of all in hell with him. But the Lord said, devil, you cannot do that. You know, he did that with you. And the Lord said, I'm, in, I'm still in charge. Even though I've given you the chance, go ahead, touch this, touch that. But there's a limit to what you can do. That's why he's the umpire. He's overseeing everything. Maybe you are wondering in the corner of your room, why is all this happening to me? The whole world is crashing down upon me. The Lord is still there. And the Lord is regulating everything. At the right time, it will come true for you in Jesus' name. I said the Lord will come true for you in Jesus' name. He is the umpire of the universe. And then is the vigor of the victor. The Lord is your strength. I said the Lord is your strength. He is the vigor of the victor. And then is the wisdom of the all-wise all God. Is the extrayer of the excesses of all men. Is the yoke breaker of the yoke leading, and then the zeal of the zealous God. And that's why we came here tonight to praise our God. Put your hands together for the Lord. You can do better than that. Our God is great. Our God is awesome. Our God is glorious. And all we do is to praise Him. You will praise the Lord in Jesus' name. In Psalm 113. Psalm 113. In verse 3, I want to read in Psalm 113. Look at verse 3 there. It says, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the sea, the Lord's name is to be praised. From the rising of the sun, from the day till the night, from morning till night, at all times, whatever the situation of your life, whatever the situation you are going through, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the sea, the name of the Lord shall be praised. In your life, the name of the Lord will be praised. I said in your life, the name of the Lord will be praised. And the Lord has called us to praise him. We are singing songs of praises to the Lord today because we are the triumphant one. If you have not been saved, the choristers have ministered unto us. They said, come home. The Lord is calling you. He said, you don't need to stay at far off. You don't need to stay at the, you know, at the border. You don't need to stay at the, you know, at the boundary. Come in. Come in. He's inviting you. He said, come over. I have a lot of treasure for you. A lot of blessings for you. Wonderful things for you. You come over. Come unto me. All ye, you know, that labor. And a heavy lady. And I will give you what? He will give you rest. This night, rest for you. You have not been sleeping all this while. This night, you will sleep soundly. As you praise the Lord, you go back home. You sleep. Your sleep will be sound. I said your sleep will be sound and your dream will be sweet. You will wake up tomorrow morning with testimony. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, it says the Lord's name is to be praised. We are, the Lord has called us to praise him and we shall praise the Lord. When we praise the Lord, mighty miracles, wonders, signs, and many more things. It will do for us in Jesus' name. Look at verse 6. It says, Who humbled himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. As you praise the Lord, Testimonies will flow unto us. 
As we praise the Lord, our burdens are rolled away. As we praise the Lord, our chains are broken. As we praise the Lord, fetters are taken away. As we praise the Lord, all those who are bound are loose. As we praise the Lord, all our sicknesses are rolled away. As we praise the Lord, the burdens in our heart are lifted. As we praise the Lord, mighty signs, mighty miracles, the Lord performs in our lives. I call on you tonight. To join me in praising the name of the Lord. As you rise upon your feet, you want to lift up your voice. You want to lift up your hands and say, Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you thanks. Remember, only those who are saved, only those who are triumphant, are called to praise the Lord. As the choristers come forward to sing again, to lead us in worshiping the Lord, in singing songs of praise to our God, the Lord is telling us tonight, He has called us to a life of praise. He has called us to a life of worship. He has called us to praise His name, to praise His holy name. And you want to sing songs to the Lord. You want to bring yourself to the Lord and say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. I offer myself unto you. I give myself unto you. Whatever it is, whatever the situation, whatever the challenge, whatever the difficulty you are going through, bring yourself to the Lord. Offer yourself to the Lord. Surrender your heart to the Lord. Surrender yourself to the Lord. And the Lord will welcome you. He's going to accept you. He's going to take you in. He has made all things ready. He has made all provisions for you. He has put everything in place. All you need to do is just to come. Come home. Have you backsliding? Come home. Have you gone astray? Come home. Have you gone away from the Lord? Come home. Come over. Come over. Come over. And the Lord accept you tonight. Come over. And the Lord will receive you tonight. Come over. And the Lord will take you to himself tonight. Come over. And the Lord will count you among his own tonight. Come over. And the Lord himself will take you here. There is room at the cross. There is room at the cross. There is adequate provision at the cross. There is enough room at the cross. Everyone who will come. Everyone who will surrender. Everyone who will... Bring himself to the Lord. He is going to take him tonight. Come over. Come over. Come over. And the Lord himself will take you in. Come over and say, yes, Lord, I bring myself to you. Yes, Lord, I give myself to you. Yes, Lord, I offer myself to you. Yes, Lord, I surrender myself unto you. And the Lord himself will take you whatever your challenge. Remember, are you a beloved of the Lord? Are you a saint of the Lord? He has called us. All is saying to come praise his name. You worship the Lord. You praise the Lord. Thank him for all that he has done. Thank him for the gift of life. Thank him for the breath within your nursery. Thank him for those seemingly consequential things that the Lord has done for you. Thank him. Thank him. And praise him for all that he has done. Our God is good. Our God is wonderful. Our God is glorious. Our God is worthy to be praised. If you will praise the Lord miracles you will see. If you will praise the Lord, mighty signs he will do in your life. If you will praise the Lord, wonderful things the Lord will do for you. Join in singing songs of praise to the Lord. Join the host of heaven in worshiping the Lord. Remember, he is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He is the mighty one. He is the, 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 the almighty Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is our King. We we'll praise Him. Let everything that has bread praise the Lord. Let everything that has bread praise the Lord. You have bread tonight, you praise the Lord. You have bread tonight, praise the Lord. Don't think about your challenge. Don't think about your difficulties. Don't think about the situation you're going through at the moment. Don't think about what you know, you're going through at the moment. Think about the Lord. Look up to heaven. Look up to heaven and sing songs of praise to the Lord. Look up to heaven and praise the Lord.
In Jesus' name we have prayed. Oh, come let us adore Him. Oh, come let us adore Him. Oh, come let us adore Him. He is the Lord. Lift up your voice to praise the Lord. Let us Alone is worthy. Oh, alone is one. Lift up your hands to praise the Lord. Oh, he alone is worthy. For he As you have praised the Lord, every burden in your life, I say tonight, they are lifted. As you sing songs of praises to the Lord, doors that seem to have been closed, and places you go to, you were turned back because they felt you were not worthy. Tonight, I say unto you, the qualifier of the qualified and the unqualified has come to qualify you. You return to those doors they are open unto you in the name of Jesus. And everything that it has told in your life has been possible. Because it is the will of the Lord for you. From this night, possibility. I said from this night, possibility. From this night, possibility and victory upon victory in your life. In Jesus' name, you will continue to praise the beauty of the holiness of the Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Give a clap offering unto the Lord Jesus. Can you give him more to God? Let's clap more unto the Lord. It's unto him, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Shall we, shall we celebrate grace? Shall we celebrate grace in his life? I want you to bow down your heads and pray for him that the work of ministry prosper more in his hands. That the Lord will bless him and his family. The Lord will anoint him more, more unction to function in the position you have granted him. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.